19 billion pounds gross, 11 billion pounds net. Now, there's always a row about the numbers. Okay, the leave side quotes the gross figure, and then the remain side says, oh yeah, but some of that money is rebated and some of it's spent here. Absolutely true. But first of all, I think it's perfectly legitimate to quote the gross figure because that's what we normally do in politics, right? If I say to you, how much do you pay in council tax? I'm guessing you'll tell me what you actually pay. You don't say, well, I have to deduct what they take off on the value of the street lighting and the value of the bin collection, right? If I say to you, what's basic rate income tax? Would you say, well, it's 20p in the pound? Or would you say, well, actually, if you think about it, it's zero, because it's all given back in roads and schools and hospitals. So I think it's a perfectly legitimate thing to count the gross figure, rather than pretending that all the money spent by the EU is spent on things we'd have chosen for ourselves. In fact, it's very often spent on purchasing the loyalty of powerful and articulate interest groups. But even if you want to take the net figure, we're talking about what the French would call an important sum of money. Right? And let me put it in context like this. During the last parliament, during the coalition government, 2010 to 2015, according to the Institute for Fiscal Studies, across the whole of government spending, the austerity program saved 36 billion pounds. During that same five-year period, our gross contribution to the EU budget was 85 billion pounds, our net contribution was 42 billion pounds. So even if we insist on taking the net figure, that one clean excision would have wiped out the entire domestic cuts program across the whole of government spending and still have given us enough left over to take a penny off income tax. 